What's up everyone, it's Trevor West back with another video. I'm so glad you guys are here. I am halfway through all of my finals for the summer semester. So I've taken three and I have three more to go. Two on Monday and one on Tuesday. I just got done with about a four hour block of studying and I'm exhausted. I can't look at my computer screen anymore. So I thought I would answer some questions for you guys about what to do for these upcoming interviews. I know this interview cycle is starting and sometimes it can be really nerve wracking um, going to states that are really far away, flying, staying in a hotel, um, finding places to eat. It's all kind of something that was new to me. I'd never done anything like that. And then there's so much pressure um, for you to act normal or act intelligent, stand out when you're surrounded by, you know, 20, 30 people who have just as good a stats as you do or even better. And it can be intimidating, but I just want you guys to realize it's not that big of a deal and you can all do it. And I'm going to try to give you some of the tips that I wish I would have heard before I went on some of my interviews. And I'm going to answer a couple of questions that you guys had for me that I got from Instagram. But before we get started, I have an awesome announcement. We are going to run a summer sale on all three colors of the Fine Balance t-shirts. So the white, red, and black. If you guys type in summer 15, all over case no spaces uh, at checkout you'll get 15% off your entire order so the link to the website is down in the description go check them out go get a big discount and help a great cause so the first tip is if you are a guy go out and get a brand new suit if you already don't have a really good one and if you are a girl I probably don't know what to wear so go find your local successful businesswoman and wear exactly what she wears to work. If you look good, you play good, I 100% believe that uh, across the board in life. You need to look as good as you can, as professional as you can. Not only will you personally be more confident um, in everything that you do, your mannerisms, your gestures, how you speak to people, I think it says a lot about you uh, as a person. All your first impressions are going to be much better to those interviewers who are trying to figure out if they want you to be in their program and represent um, their entire school for the next four years and the rest of your life when you graduate. I know picking up a brand new suit or um, some new clothes for girls can be pretty expensive, but just think that it's a long-term investment. It's something that is super important for this stage of the application cycle. and. Uh, whatever clothes you wear, you are going to use them again. There's constantly events going on throughout school and just life in general that you're gonna need to look good and professional and you can wear that same suit or that those same clothes to those events. So it is a very, very worthwhile investment. The next tip I have is practicing for the interview questions themselves. And I think one huge point that a lot of that I definitely myself didn't practice enough are the ethical questions specifically these questions are just kind of random scenarios that a lot of times no one you're you don't really think about and so they can catch you off guard and when they do catch you off guard it's really awkward when you're sitting in front of a couple interviewers and you're just kind of like uh, I don't really know so the tip for that is Google literally Google ethical interview questions and practice as many as you can you really can't do enough you want to come cover as many scenarios as you can whether they seem possible or not you might get asked them and then even further anytime you're practicing any questions ethical or you know why you chose dentistry the typical one make sure you're practicing out loud because I promise you if you are just doing it in your head it's literally not even beneficial the first time it comes out of your mouth you will see actually comes out of your mouth you will see how jumbled up your words get all your thoughts kind of leave your head the first 10 times that you practice out loud it's gonna sound terrible so you need to do that as many times as you possibly can okay now let's get on to some of the questions that you guys asked me through Instagram and the first one was what to say about a, a gap year in your interview and I think one of the most important things, basically the only thing that the admissions committees are looking for is to make sure you aren't lazy and that you're doing something that is going to help you either as a person or a dental student. So what I personally did was I went back to my hometown um, and I started coaching lacrosse for the high school and it was all volunteer based. So this is, it was a huge talking point that I was able to bring up during all of my interviews. 
Um, I said, okay, so you're not going to school right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you are doing right now. It was great when I was able to turn uh, something that I have a ton of passion for. I've played lacrosse my whole entire life and I was able to be a coach and help develop skills in young players. So I think that was something that really stood out for me is that I was able to give a lot of time to helping be a mentor for kids. You know, I was able to talk to them about grades, um, doing why it's important to do well in school and kind of developing your character. And so I was able to share that with all the admissions committees and I think they really, really liked it. So for you guys, if you at all can try to do something productive, whether it's volunteering, or working at a dental office or doing anything that's more than just shadowing. I think the admissions committee want to see some motivation out of you, see that you're dedicated to improving yourself. So that would be my tip for talking about a gap year. Kind of plan ahead and make sure that you have something to bring up that is positive in your interview. So the next question that you guys gave me was, did I have any MMI style interviews and what are some tips for those? And I actually did. The interview for OSU was my only MMI style interview. For those of you that don't know what that is, it stands for multiple mini interviews. And what it was here at OSU was, I had about a minute to read over um, like a scenario, an ethical question. And then I would sit down at a table with talking to two interviewers and I would get about two to three minutes to just answer the question. And the way that they did it here was they actually didn't respond to anything I said. They, I would give a response to whatever ethical question was asked and then they would say, okay, is there anything else you'd like to share about it? And if I felt like I answered the question sufficiently, then I would say, nope, I'm good to go. And if I felt like I left some things out, I'd be like, well, actually, yeah, what uh, talk about this point, this point, and this point. Anyways, I think it was really beneficial going back to the one of the other points that I made, how you need to practice out loud some of these ethical situations. So I can't stress that enough and I'll stress it again right here. Practice out loud, practice as many different questions as you can. And then after I answered the question, if I had some time left, they would just talk to me as a person. They would ask what I like to do, what I'm interested in, and it was kind of just to get to know me better, see what type of person I am when I'm not under the pressure of answering some difficult question. So once you got done at one table, the uh, timer would go off and you would jump to another table and do that same thing over again. So you'd have about a minute to read over another question and then you'd have to answer it. So that's how the MMI style interviews were here at OSU. And it was pretty relaxed. I can't say how it was for, or how it is for any of the other schools, but it wasn't that much uh, I didn't really even think about it afterwards. It didn't stress me out. So I don't think you guys need to be worried about it. Um, it's kind of just the same as any other interview you're going to go into, except it's condensed down into a smaller time. So the biggest tip I can give you guys is to be ready to answer kind of any question that comes at you. So today I actually just got done with my last final for the whole summer semester. I am so grateful that I finally have freedom again. Uh, that's why this video is late actually is because I started filming it last week and I just got wrapped up in studying. I kind of underestimated how much time I needed to study to get ready for the physiology midterm that I took this morning. I think it went pretty well so I'm happy with how that turned out. Some of my other finals might not have gone so hot but you have some good ones, you have some bad ones, you just got to roll with the punches. Um, I hope you guys were able to get some good tips from this video and if you have any other questions put them down below and I will do my best to answer them as best as I can from my experience. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.